Hey there, fellows. My name is Vlad, and you're watching Garage 54. There's a little something I'd like to show you today, and also try it for myself. A bit of insanity, as always. I'm sure many of you have seen a certain video on YouTube. Just a bit closer. Come on now. That's how you do it. No need for inventing the wheel here. We've also decided to give it a try. However, we're doing things differently. That car was filled pretty much to the brim, to the point that you couldn't even drive it. I'm gonna try and isolate the driver's cabin and fill up the rest of the interior. It's so we can go for a drive. So we're obviously going to need some concrete, of course, but we have plenty of that. As for the car, well, let's find one. Okay, so now we find the appropriate car, contact the seller, and organize a meeting with him. All right, fellas. So we were able to find this thing. It's not in ideal condition, but it isn't too bad. It is old, after all. Like 1980-something. For the time being, it does run and drive. Why for the time being? Well, that's because it's probably not for long. So now I take the car, roll it closer to the garage. I've already changed my clothes, and uh, we get started on making a mold. Let's do this. Filling a car with five tons of concrete, will it drive? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Anyway, fellas, we seem to be making some good progress. We finished our mold. Hopefully it'll hold up okay. Honestly, construction work isn't my thing. Although I did try a while ago. Anyway, that's beside the point. I've called in a buddy of mine with a cement truck. He's bringing in some concrete, which we'll be pouring inside. He's got a keen eye, so I'm hoping he'll tell us whether our structure will hold up or not. Okay, so now we move the car away from the garage, since later on that's not gonna be an easy task. There's no need for that anyway. It can stand around here for a day while the concrete hardens. After that we try going for a drive. Anyway guys, things are working out very well. Here we have a cement truck. How many cubes? Two? Right, so two cubic meters. That would be about five tons. Lots of you requested we load the car full of sheet metal until it doesn't want to move. Right, now we start filling her up. We'll be doing that through the trunk. We had a look and the windows are just too small. We can barely get the chute through. The trunk, however, has an opening which allows us to fill the cabin. Keep it coming. There we go. Damn it. Show me some more, Sergey. Yep. Okay, that's enough shoveling for the time being. This is some heavy stuff. We'll try the window after all. Maybe we'll have a bit more luck. This is some quality concrete. You can't even wash it off. Oh yeah. Did I forget to open the window on that side? Whatever, we'll find a way to shove it in.
All right, this is going great. How much we got left, Sergey? Half a cube? That's all? Maybe that'll do? Or he wants some more? Come on, Sergey, show me just a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. No more? Yeah, we're done here. Stop, man, that's enough. We filled the damn thing right up to the gills. Excellent. Anyway, guys, everything seems to have worked out beautifully. There is a slight stain on the car, but it's all good. We filled it up all the way, so we're looking good. Two cubes, five tons, what's not to like? The trunk is pretty much completely full to the point where I'm afraid to open it. The rear axle is under a bit more stress. Anyway, so filling it up wasn't a problem. Everything worked out okay. And now all we gotta do is wait until it solidifies. I say we take a break, come back later and have a look. So here's the situation, fellas. Everything's actually looking pretty good. The concrete is quite solid, like rock solid, even without any metal reinforcement. It's completely stiff. I dig it. The car won't even... No, you actually can rock it a bit. Not the worst security system, eh? Right, so the concrete is hard. Somebody actually filmed part two of that video, with the car torn apart and the door open. Anyway, I say why not also try opening a cemented door? At least give it a try. I don't know whether this will work or not. Right, the handle seems to be stuck. It does seem to be moving, though. Let me go get a crowbar. Hang on. Give me a minute. You're breaking the door. Back. Right, so this apparently used to be the ashtray. I have no idea who left it open. There we go. Success! We did it! Right, here's what we're looking at. Here we have an imprint. The concrete is nice and hard. Anyway, so you actually can open the doors. I have no idea how we get this all out later on. Okay, so now it's not gonna close. Right, fellas. So we've opened the door, now it's shut. You didn't see how we basically stomped on it to get it closed. The weather isn't exactly ideal for filming. I mean, it's been raining since last night. Sometimes more intense, sometimes less, like it always does. Anyway, what other important things do we have left here? I reckon we fire it up and try getting it to move. It should start without any issues, since it already has. Will it move, though? Well, there's only one way to find out. I don't know whether there's any gas in the tank, but it did start up earlier. Let's do this. Okay, so we're ready to go. Now we just have to... The ignition is definitely not in the best shape. Come on now. Why won't you turn? Okay, great, it's turning over. Awesome, it works! Seems to work just fine. Okay, so we can't back up, right? Only forward. Okay, let's have a look. The wipers are working okay, that's good. It actually does move ever so slightly. What do 
do we got here? That's the clutch burning. Oh my god. Man, that smells. I don't like the smell of that. Maybe we try backing up. I reckon it should drive in reverse. Or maybe that's the exhaust. Oh, so that's the exhaust. All right, we good then. That's what I was talking about. Looks like we're out of gas. Okay, so we poured a bit of gas into the tank. Oh, come on. How do you even drive with an ignition like this? Okay. Come on, pump that fuel. Seriously? I really doubt that the car is leaning over so hard that the fuel pickup isn't getting any gas. Come on now, work with me. There we go. I'll try reversing it a bit. We shouldn't be getting any wheel spin. I mean, under such load. It's not moving. Right, guys, so we've got a little bump under the rear tire. And the car can't move under its own power. We've decided to help it out. My neighbor told me that a W124 Mercedes can't pull for shit. Although I did see both wheels spinning. Anyway, he's bringing out his big slugger, which should do the trick. You guys keep watching. All right, guys, we've attached the rope. Hopefully this will get us moving. It drives. I mean... Vadim, you can stop now. I've got this, man. Maybe we should put some air into the tires. I mean... Wait a second. What have we got here? Yep, the release bearing just failed. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? What the hell? I'm looking at almost three atmospheres of pressure. It's already showing three. I mean, come on, seriously? I'd prefer it not exploding. Now we're seeing more than three. All right, it's rolling. Here we go. The car is moving all by itself. Uphill, wow. Okay, four should be enough. 
Okay, so I've inflated the rear tires, up to four atmospheres each. This raised the car ever so slightly. It should drive now. Let's give it a try. Right, wipers. It's rolling. Awesome. Damn it. Well, I can't say it as a plush ride. But all of this does feel really unusual. Did you guys see how it drives? What did this poor car do to you? Hi there. I'm good. I've just decided to flip around. It should be easier on a small incline. Anyway, fellas, we've done some driving with a concrete-filled cabin. Two cubes is around five tons. And that's not accounting for me, although I don't make much of a difference with all that concrete. Anyway, it actually goes. A car filled with five tons of concrete can indeed move around. Only a lot, I guess. Anyway, guys, the weather sucks big time. That's it for today. Watch our videos, subscribe, make some suggestions, and see you later. Oh, right, Sanya. I forgot this thing has steel reinforcements. Well, we have to get it open. How am I supposed to do that? What's so funny? No, that's for pussies. What? Just break it off. Not gonna happen. Maybe from this side. Exactly, dude. Okay, kids, you keep your distance now, if you don't want to get hit. Nowhere for the hinges to go. The concrete block ready for use, eh? Good luck getting it out first. Just cut it out and you're good to go. It might be a bit too expensive though.